I'm Chef Michelle Bernstein. Who do you call when your house is on fire? A firefighter, right? Well, who do you call when you need a delicious piece of pie? A pie maker, right? Well, this is Derek, and he could answer both of those calls today on SoFlo Taste. This is South Florida. It's where I live and work. I'm Chef Michelle Bernstein. South Florida is more than sun, sand, and sea. It's a lifestyle of fashion, sound, culture, and of course, food. Food with taste from all over the world. Join me as we celebrate the food of South Florida. And the people who love it. Join me as we experience SoFlo Taste. Hello and welcome to SoFlo Taste. I'm Chef Michelle Bernstein and welcome Derek Kaplan. Thank you very much for having me. So Derek is famous for Fireman Derek's Bake Shop, right? Yes, ma'am. In Wynwood. Welcome to SoFlo Taste. We're so happy you're here. Thank you. So you were a fireman. Yeah, I for how long? worked for the city of Miami for 10 years. Wow. And I recently left in December and I'm pursuing my uh, pie dreams Wonderful. now full time. So I knew Derek a really long time ago because he came to me and he told me his story when I had first opened Mishi's, yep. right? Yep. Was I one of your first customers? I think you were my first customer. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. So I thought it would be fun to, for us to watch him do his whole pie thing. And of course, if there's a fire, uh, he can put one out. So let's get cooking. What's the first pie you're making today? Today we're gonna make the uh, coconut custard pie. Okay. We also are gonna do banana cream in the same kind of step because the custard similar is the same custard basically. So we're making one custard for two pies? We're gonna make one custard cool. for two pies, yes. All right. You're gonna get a nice pot. If you have a non-stick pot at home, that would be great or something. Oh, is the non-stick pot better? It, that one works just, okay? just fine. So we're gonna add our half and half. Okay. I like using the half and half because it's got a little more fat than the milk, no so doubt. it makes it nice and rich. All right, so I'm just gonna wait for this to get up to about 150. Yeah, so but that's gonna, gonna get up to 150. So burn the bottom. But we wanna add the uh, the sugar, sugar? And, and also I like to add the egg yolks while it's cool, so then that way there's no risk oh, of- great. Uh, okay. Them cooking. All right, so I'll add this in. So I'm coming up to 150, you said? Yes, 150. Okay. So the other part of the of the custards is um, we make a fresh whipped cream. I use the 40% whipped cream because it has the fat and heavy cream gotcha yeah okay. and it's and it stays better than the 36 percent there's no risk of it uh you know oh, so it holds like better it holds 40%, much better that makes uh -huh. sense okay and uh i add powdered sugar to that okay and a little vanilla it's a joke around here by the way how much i love whipped cream yeah so you start out at like a slow speed obviously you don't want the liquid cream to go everywhere and you gotcha. kind of want to incorporate the sugar and the vanilla as that moves along you, uh -huh. you increase the speed as you you know aerate it and whip it and you start to thicken okay but um how did you learn how to bake did you just teach yourself i'm self-taught i'm self-taught how to bake i started when i was 15. i always enjoyed cooking and Were I, you like the cook at the firehouse? I cooked breakfast, lunch, and dinner for 20 guys oh my for God. 10 years practically. Wow. And I ran the pie business at the, at same, the same 10 time. years. Yeah. So How I did, did both careers. That? That's incredible. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the answer to that question. Oh my goodness. But it was fun. I had a good time. Um, so our custard, once that's done, we have yep. our graham cracker crust for the coconut custard, and we put the um, bananas, banana cream, in the flour crust which is, you know, a traditional style banana cream. Gotcha. It's also, when you when you make coconut custard, it's also normally traditional doing a flour crust, but uh -huh. I just enjoy the way that it tastes with graham crackers. So the, the crust consists of ground up mm. graham crackers and uh, and butter. And um, like if you go and you buy the store-bought graham crackers, there's three packages in, uh, in one of those boxes. Uh -huh. And usually one of those packages is good enough for one crust. Gotcha. So you would grind it up and I think it takes about half of a stick of butter, so uh, four tablespoons okay. of butter. So the coconut flavor in this coconut cream is just going to be from the shredded coconut? From the shredded coconut. And is it sweetened? It's sweetened coconut. Okay. Normally what I like to do is add the coconut to the mixture while while it's actually heating up. But so because we're making two custards you're not going to do that? Since we're not okay. yet. We're going to separate it. it. Okay. So are you going to make a slurry over there? The, in order to thicken it, yes, we have uh, cornstarch measured out, and I do equal parts cornstarch and equal parts water. And when do you, are we and adding I that? I add after? that to when it gets to 150 because I don't want to add it from the start, and then it cooks from the bottom up, and then the bottom part sticks, Got it. and then the top part's still liquid, and you're trying to stir it, and it's just Understood. burning on you. So I'm going to get the slurry going. Great. And our whipped cream's just about done. So 
So you must have huge machines at oh, yeah. your we have, uh, place, right? You know, we have big giant Hobart mixers. We yeah. have uh, rack ovens, which are, you know, those the ovens that you push the rack push around. Oh my yeah. God, how great. Convection ovens. Uh, this is 150. All right, let's do it. Okay. And he's not making pies, just, just pies anymore. No, we, right? We Tell we them do everything you do. Cheesecakes, flans, pies, uh, cakes. Brownies, cookies, bread puddings, bread puddings, quiches, ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, all the ice cream sandwiches, whatever you like, any anything sweet. You that do you can it all. Of, we uh, we should have it. Wow, this you, is thickening. Going, yeah, I don't want to mess it up here. No, you no, take no. over. You take over. Right. It's looking good. I want good. it to be perfect. For yeah, you. you know, you'll start. What you'll start to see is, is like all those bubbles on yep. top will go away, and it'll be nice and smooth. I also see it starting to separate a little bit from the sides of the pan. That's how I usually do. Yeah. It. So when you're like this, when it gets to the, that consistency, you can turn this off. Okay. So there's no more heat and it'll bubble a little bit and you'll see the steam come out. Looks like pudding. Yeah. Add vanilla now? Yeah, or? add the vanilla. Yeah. I'll take that. Thanks. Beautiful. There you go. You got your vanilla custard. So if you want to maybe... Spoon it out here. There you go. Yeah. Cool. That should be enough. Okay. So then we add our coconut to the other half that we have left. Give it a stir. Okay. And uh, you know because it's nice and hot, it'll it'll incorporate real nice. All right. All right. So we have our mixture separated. Yep. And she's ready to go. All right. Yeah. So we're gonna spoon our custard out into our graham cracker shell. Just so you know, this is the pie that everybody talks to me about. The coconut custard is definitely one of our uh, top sellers. Uh huh. And uh, you know our our top sellers are key lime pie. But, still, um, wow. Yeah, still. All right, I think we got most of it. And then you want to kind of smooth it out. Okay. You know, distribute it evenly. And then from here, uh, it's going to go in the fridge. So I'll put this Swap one it in out. the fridge. So here's a nice and chilled one. And the finishing touches on this are to put the whipped cream. Don't be shy with it. Damn. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm gonna get attacked here in a second. Wow, beautiful. And wow. the finishing touches is our toasted coconut. So is that the same shredded coconut from before? The same shredded Just coconut. toasted in the oven? Yeah, toasted in the oven. If you're if you're not comfortable with doing it in the oven, you can do it in a pan on your, on your, right. you know, on your stove. No butter or oil in it, by the way, just dry. Well, this is lovely. Um, I think I'm going to go in the back and enjoy this yeah. while we go to a commercial um, and come right back because Derek's going to teach us so much more deliciousness. Absolutely. Thanks, Derek. So Flow Taste will return right after this.